Hi everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for this video. I've been experimenting with the idea of frog tape and dividing the canvas. So I've just done a heart and I've just done a star using frog tape. Um, I'm now going one step further. I'm doing a heart but with lots of wavy lines stemming from the heart. Um, I'll show you in a second. Um, so the idea is that I'm going to swipe. I'm gonna, I've put silicon in my paints. I'm gonna create lots of beautiful cells and patterns, lift the frog tape and then fill the gaps that is the plan um not sure how this is going to pan out how it's going to work um but really really excited to get started i've spent quite a long time preparing for this painting um so let me show you so here is my canvas it's a 50 centimeter canvas you can see a design underneath i'm reusing the canvas there was a few little bumps on it i've put gesso on it but there was a few bumps so i've then spent some time sanding it it's not perfect but because the paint for this pour is quite thick i'm hoping the little bumps won't show um so you can see a heart um with frog tape and then you can see lots of other lines so my plan is to put paint on these gaps um, and then swipe from the inside out following the curve of the of the tape then I'm going to lift so while it's still wet I'm going to peel up these bits of tape and then fill the middle so I've kept the paint much thicker than with my previous pores um, because wet before when I lifted the tape the colors just started bleeding and merging into each other so my plan is if I keep it a bit thicker they should remain separate um, so here are my colours. So it's based on some leftover colours from my heart and my star pour. So I've got a pink, purple, orange, bronze. Um, and then this blue, It's there's three shades of this blue. This was just some blue that was scraped from my worktop. Um, and then I've added some white to create some paler shades. Um, and then there's a violet and then there's a white colour there. So the blue, I think it's this one, I'm going to use for the gaps between the swipes. And then these colours here are going to be for the, for the swipes. So they're all mixed with PVA. Oh, we can see my chocolates. Sorry. <laughs> um, they're all mixed with PVA glue and water. Um, I haven't really got a recipe for you, um, but I would guess that I'm about 50-50, half 50% 50 pouring medium, 50% paint. Um, it's thicker, so you can see it's leaving a mound um, on the surface. Um, yeah, much thicker than my last two pours. So it, there's a chance it's too thick, but I'm just gonna go with it and see, see what happens, because I, I think it will work. I've been thinking a lot about how I'm going to put the colour on the canvas. Um, I've got an order. I've put, laid my paints out here in order. Um, I think what I'm going to do is do some little lines of each colour and then swipe through them. So instead of putting it on randomly, there's going to be some, some structure to it, some order. The actual heart, I think I would like to put as this violet colour. So I'm not going to put the violet anywhere near the surrounding surround of the heart. Um, I could just cover the whole canvas and the tape, but then I haven't. I can't then see the the motion of the of the uh, of the waves. So I think I'm just going to apply it like this, um, and just try and keep the frog tape showing, so I can see where it is. Actually, also doing this I means I'm not putting too much paint on. I'm kind of spreading it about with the stick i don't want lots and lots of paint on here so actually this might work quite well it's going to take quite a while to get all the paint down
So all my canvas is now covered. All the gaps are covered. Um, I've just been dabbing it with my finger just to make sure that it, just to sort of thin it out, even it out a little bit more. It's quite bumpy and it's quite irregular. Oh, there's some bare canvas there. It, I don't think it really matters because I think when I swipe it, it's actually going to help to smooth it out a bit. Right, I'm going to start my swiping. I've got some plastic here and I'm just going to start with quite a thin strip of plastic. Um, and I want to just basically swipe with the curve of the of the green. So I'm just going to start, I think, in the middle and just go for it. So you know what, because that blue is quite a thick band, I'm just going to put a little bit of white on as well, which will just be the edge of the heart, at the edge of the heart, just to break that up a little bit. Right, I'm also having to work reasonably quickly because I can sense that it's really starting to dry already. Right, let's just go for it, see what happens. Right, first swipe done. So obviously it doesn't look much at the moment. Um, hopefully it will do later when I torch. Right, all my swiping is done. So I'm now going to torch and hopefully this will change because it's looking a bit odd at the moment. Right, I'm just going to give it a minute and just see if those cells, what happens with the cells. The cells are all very small and that is because the mixture is, is quite thick. It is looking pretty. I think it's just looking so crowded at the moment. So I'm hoping once I take this tape up, it will actually transform um, because, yeah, I'm not, not loving it at the moment. <laughs> Right, I'm now just going to take the heart up. Um, I don't know what shape this heart will be because I think all the colours have gone underneath. So what I will do is put the violet down for the heart, but then when it's dry, I will probably repaint it because I'm sure it's going to need sharpening up.
So I was about to put the violet down. I think I'm actually going to put the pink down because I think it needs to be brighter. I'm going to go for the brighter of the, the pinks. This isn't really what I had in mind. I'm not sure what I did have in mind, but this, this definitely isn't it. Um, I've spent a long time doing this and I'm not particularly happy with it at the moment. Um, I think what I will be doing when it's dry is adding because I, I'm not happy with the definition between the blue and the, the swiped bits. I'm not particularly happy with the swiped bits. I've got the cells, but they're just so tiny. Um, I'm disappointed they're so small. Um, my heart will need sorting out. It's very bumpy at the moment and I don't think I can do anything about that. So I might even put some glitter on it or, or something else. Um, the cells are really pretty. Um, I'm really happy with the concept, the idea of this. Um, but I just, I'm just not convinced it's, it's working at the moment. So I think I'm just going to have to wait until it's dry um, and maybe embellish it um, and try and save it. So it's now finished. I've been on such a journey with this painting. I've gone from not liking it, to liking it, to not liking it, to liking it. I think I'm ending up on the liking it side of things. Um, it does look a little bit cartoonish, which I think isn't ideal for uh, what I was trying to create. Um, but I had to embellish it quite a lot with some lines. Um, so let me show you what I've done. So each block of swiping, I outlined first of all with white and then with black. First of all, I did just the white and it looked okay, but I just felt it didn't stand out enough. I think there wasn't enough contrast between the blue and the swiped sections. Um, so then I, I put the extra black around it and I think that works. Um, I'm actually pretty happy with my heart. You can see lots of little air bubbles and you can see some texture. Actually, it looks worse on the phone than it does in real life. Um, I'm actually relatively happy with it. And again, I'm really pleased with the silhouette. So the white and then the black around the edge of the heart. Um, some of these details are really pretty. I especially like this section here where you've got the bronze and the orange. I think that looks that works really well, really pretty. Um, the cells are a little bit small. Um, it's not what I planned, but I'm, I think it's I think it's relatively pretty. Um, it's a bit white in the centre. I'm sounding really negative. I don't mean to. It's just not as I it, it just didn't go to plan. But actually, the concept of it, I really like. I love the fact that you have a heart and then you have all these, this sort of energy stemming from the heart. See, th these bits here look quite nice and fiery. Um, so I, I think I would probably do this again. Um, but definitely, I've learned a lot. Definitely do things differently. Um, let me just quickly show you the edges because I'm quite pleased with my edges because I managed to get the lines just flowing over the edge there and I'll show you the top. So the pattern is it's continuous all the way around. Um, so let me know what you think. Please let me know if you like this, um, what you think of it, the colours, the technique, the style, the embellishments. Um, I want to do it again and so I'd love to know what you think. So that will, I'll read everyone's comments, that will really help me with um, a second attempt at this. Great, thanks so much for watching. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel. Great. Take care, everyone. Bye.